Ever wonder how money moves around the world? It's like a giant game, and banks are the major players. They buy and sell things that affect your everyday life. Think mortgages, loans, even the price of your morning coffee. Intrigued? Let's dive into the exciting world of bank trading. Ready to learn how banks make those big money moves? Buckle up, we're about to uncover the secrets of bank trading. Imagine a giant marketplace, but instead of fruits and veggies, they trade stocks, bonds, and currencies. Picture a place where the hustle and bustle never stops, where numbers and data are the lifeblood, and where fortunes can be made or lost in the blink of an eye. This is the world of financial markets. That's what financial markets are. They are dynamic, ever-changing environments where financial instruments are bought and sold. These instruments include stocks, which represent ownership in a company, bonds, which are essentially loans made to large organizations, and currencies, which are traded in the foreign exchange market. They're where buyers and sellers come together to trade these financial instruments. It's a place where supply meets demand and where the value of these instruments is determined by the collective actions of all participants. Whether it's a small individual investor or a large institutional player, everyone has a role to play. These markets are the heart of the global economy. They facilitate the flow of capital, enabling businesses to grow, governments to fund projects, and individuals to invest for their future. Without financial markets, the global economy would come to a standstill. They determine the price of everything from oil to gold. Commodities like these are traded in specialized markets, and their prices can be influenced by a myriad of factors, including geopolitical events, supply and demand dynamics, and economic indicators. And guess who plays a big role in these markets? Financial institutions, particularly banks, are major players. They provide the necessary infrastructure, liquidity, and expertise to facilitate trading and investment activities. You got it, banks. They act as intermediaries, helping to match buyers and sellers, and often taking positions themselves. Banks also offer a range of financial services, from investment advice to risk management solutions. Think of it like this. Financial markets are the playing field, and banks are the star athletes. They have the skills, knowledge, and resources to navigate these complex environments and make strategic decisions that can lead to significant gains. Ready to see them in action? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the fascinating world of financial markets, exploring how they operate, who the key players are, and what it takes to succeed in this high-stakes arena. Banks are essential to financial markets. They act as intermediaries, connecting buyers and sellers. They also provide loans and investment services, keeping money flowing through the economy. But here's the kicker banks also trade for their own profit. They have massive trading desks where skilled professionals analyze markets and make split-second decisions. These traders are like financial superheroes, but instead of capes, they have Bloomberg terminals. Curious about their superpowers? Let's find out! Banks trade in various ways. One way is through proprietary trading, where they use their own money to buy and sell assets. They aim to profit from market fluctuations. Another way is through market making. Here, banks act as intermediaries, providing buy and sell quotes for assets. They profit from the spread between these quotes. It's like a high stakes chess game with banks making strategic moves to maximize their gains. But it's not all about profits. Ready to explore the risks involved? Section 5. Example 1. Riding the Stock Market Wave The stock market is a dynamic and often unpredictable environment where fortunes can be made or lost in the blink of an eye. Understanding how to navigate this complex landscape is crucial for any financial institution. Imagine a bank buys a large chunk of a company's stock, expecting its price to rise. This decision is often based on extensive research and analysis, considering factors like the company's financial health, market trends, and economic indicators. If the price goes up, the bank sells the stock, making a profit. This profit can be substantial, contributing significantly to the bank's overall earnings. The traders and analysts who made this decision are rewarded for their insight and timing. But what if the price drops? This is where the risk comes into play. A sudden market downturn, unexpected company news, or broader economic issues can cause the stock price to plummet the bank could lose a significant amount of money. Such losses can impact not only the bank's financial health, but also its reputation and the confidence of its clients and investors. This example highlights the inherent risks in bank trading. 
Every decision carries potential rewards and risks, and the outcome is never guaranteed. It's a constant balancing act between risk and reward. Banks must weigh the potential gains against the possible losses, making informed decisions to maximize profits while minimizing risks. Banks employ sophisticated risk management strategies to mitigate potential losses. These strategies include diversifying investments, using financial instruments like options and futures, and continuously monitoring market conditions. Want to see how they navigate other markets? Stay tuned as we explore the intricate world of global finance, where banks operate across different countries and currencies, each with its own set of challenges and opportunities. Section 6. Risk, the flip side of the coin. Trading always involves risk. Banks face market risk, credit risk, and even operational risk. Market risk arises from changes in asset prices. Credit risk occurs when borrowers default on loans. Operational risk stems from internal errors or fraud. Managing these risks is crucial for a bank's stability. Think of it like tightrope walking. Banks need to maintain a delicate balance to stay profitable without taking excessive risks. Ready for another market adventure? Section 7. Example 2. Navigating the Bond Market Understanding the bond market is crucial for both individual investors and large financial institutions. It's a complex world where various factors come into play, influencing the decisions made by traders and analysts. Banks are major players in the bond market. They operate on a large scale, buying and selling bonds issued by governments and corporations. These transactions are not just about buying low and selling high. They involve strategic planning and deep analysis. They buy and sell bonds issued by governments and corporations. Government bonds are generally considered safer, while corporate bonds can offer higher returns but come with greater risk. Each type of bond has its own set of characteristics and benefits. Bonds generate regular interest payments, providing a steady income stream. This makes them an attractive option for investors looking for reliable returns. The interest payments, known as coupon payments, are typically made semi-annually or annually. However, bond prices fluctuate based on interest rates and market conditions. When interest rates rise, bond prices tend to fall, and vice versa. This inverse relationship is a key concept in bond trading and requires constant monitoring. Banks need to carefully analyze these factors before making trading decisions. They employ teams of analysts who study market trends, economic indicators, and geopolitical events to forecast future movements in bond prices. It's like navigating a ship through unpredictable waters. The bond market can be volatile and unexpected events can cause sudden shifts. Traders must be prepared to adjust their strategies quickly to avoid losses. Banks rely on their expertise and market knowledge to chart a successful course. They use sophisticated tools and models to predict market behavior and make informed decisions. Continuous learning and adaptation are key to staying ahead in this dynamic environment. But the game is changing with technology. Ready to see how? Advanced trading algorithms, artificial intelligence, and machine learning are revolutionizing the bond market. These technologies enable faster and more accurate analysis, helping traders make better decisions in real time. The future of bond trading is here, and it's more exciting than ever. Section 8. Technology, the Game Changer Technology is revolutionizing bank trading. Algorithmic trading uses complex algorithms to execute trades at lightning speed. This has increased trading volumes and market efficiency. Moreover, blockchain technology is transforming how trades are settled and recorded. It enhances transparency and reduces the risk of fraud. Technology is reshaping the trading landscape, making it faster, more efficient, and secure. But with great power comes great responsibility. Ready to explore the role of regulation? Section 9. Regulation Keeping Things Fair after the 2008 financial crisis, regulators implemented stricter rules to prevent excessive risk-taking by banks. These regulations aim to protect investors and maintain financial stability. Banks now face higher capital requirements and stricter trading limits. While some argue that regulations stifle innovation, others believe they are essential for a healthy financial system. It's a delicate balance between fostering innovation and ensuring stability. Regulators play a crucial role in shaping the future of bank trading. Speaking of the future, what lies ahead? Section 10. The Future of Bank Trading The future of bank trading is full of possibilities. 
artificial intelligence and machine learning are expected to play an even greater role in trading decisions. Moreover, the rise of digital currencies and decentralized finance could disrupt traditional banking models. The trading landscape is constantly evolving, presenting both challenges and opportunities. It's an exciting time to witness the transformation of this dynamic industry. But it's not just about banks, your choices matter too. Section 11, your turn shaping the future. As consumers and investors, we all have a role to play in shaping the future of bank trading. By understanding how banks operate in financial markets, we can make informed decisions about our own finances. We can support ethical and responsible banking practices by choosing institutions that align with our values. Together, we can create a more stable and equitable financial system. The future of bank trading is in our hands. Let's make it a future we can all be